。Welcome to Hyperspeed Media YouTube チャンネル。Instagram, Minor Mods Garage. No underscore, no nothing, just straight Minor Mods Garage. Uh, personal name, James Brooks. And this is my Miata. So, it's a 1.6, 1990 Miata. Uh, it started off stock, nothing was done to it at all. Everything came to me from me. Um, I got 15s with a uh, 195.45. With a uh, 15 by eight all around no rubbing a little bit rolled fenders aftermarket e e e ebay lights nothing crazy ebay lip drift stitch at the bottom because that's what miatas get into you know you see we repping the gang minor mods garage on the top that's all us i started this from high school uh went to northeast you know, me and my buddies were just messing around, throwing some ideas out. And I said, hey, how about Minor Mods Garage? And ever since then, it's stuck with me. So I've been kind of living my dream ever since it started. Did um, anything else to this? Yeah, coming around to the interior, honestly. We got a full quick release, uh, NRG short hub with the NRG quick release uh, housing and um, eBay Vertex wheel. It's okay, it's eBay, it's, it's cheap, whatever. Uh, rep bride seats, and I got the, um, the Garage Star um, seat brackets so that they can mount. Other than that, it's pretty stock. It's straight pipe with a Monzo back exhaust, um, spiked lug nuts. Other than that, it's just for look. Straight piped. Got a little bent up from the last drift event, but you know, we still rocking it because that's the life we live. But, what about your other drift car? So the red one, it was held up so good. I had it for two years. Um, I actually started from an automatic and I swapped it all in my backyard, on my back, hand tools, no power tools. Went from a 1.6 auto to a 1.6 manual with the rear end of a 1.8. So it was definitely putting down a lot more torque and it was able to hold a lot more wheel spin so when I, got, I'm, I got a question for you when yeah. you're swapping to the um the to the manual right did you have to change the, <clears throat> the ppf the ppf yes uh, um the automatic ppf and the manual ppf are completely different the auto the automatic one is slightly shorter yeah. same thing goes with the drive the drive shaft the drive shaft has to get switched as well to uh a manual drive shaft okay so when you're doing that swap it's actually more easier than doing an NB because or NB2 because 
with the MB2, you got the whole ECU immobilization thing. Oh, you got to change all you that. You got to change all that just wow. to do a swap. So it's like more of a headache. Oh, it's oh so yeah. This, well, this one, did you change the ECU at all too, or no ECU? Um, that's so actually Mega Square. You're on Mega Square anyway. No, I'm not on Mega Square. Oh, it's okay. all it was all stock ECU. It was completely okay. plug and play. I literally didn't even have to remove the ECU at all. Okay. All I did was um, just take the wiring, yeah. disconnected any of the sensors that were on the trans yeah. or the engine because I swapped the engine as well because yeah. the engine had got rod knock. Yeah. So I swapped the engine with the trans and everything bolted right up to the new engine and the transmission. Okay, right. Underneath the, underneath the dash, you take those out, you pop them out, and then you just, they're literally, they're made to be swapped. So you have the, all the mountain brackets for you to mount up your clutch. You have all the holes to mount up your master cylinder. Everything's there for you to do. Oh, all right. anything else you want to say? Nah, man, uh, <laughs> just go follow me on Instagram. Uh, make sure to follow us and a lot more stuff to come. You know, Turbo Build coming soon. Guess, uh, Stay you tuned. Got a YouTube channel too? Or no? um, YouTube channel is actually Minor Mods Garage as well. Okay. Um, I haven't been posting to that lately, but I can start posting to that. I want to be able to get the, the Turbo Build onto there, yeah. onto YouTube to branch it out more and to get more followers just onto the Miata page. And I want everybody to rock Miatas, dude. You know, Miata's life, so. Yep. Cool. All right, what's going on? My name is Jason Zinkov, and my Instagram is also at Jason Zinkov. All right, so tell me more about your Miata. All right, so this is my 97 Miata in brilliant black. Um, I bought it on Christmas Eve this year for 5,200 bucks. Um, it was all rusty, so I got that repaired. Um, and then since then, I've installed coilovers. They're VMAX coilovers. Wait, so you got the rust repaired? Yeah, so I got the rust repaired. Okay, let's check it out. It's a typical thing for Miatas to get this repaired. It looks nice. They did a great job. Yeah. I got it done at North what, Penn uh, Mazda. What shop did that for you? Uh, North Penn Mazda. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, go, go ahead. Keep cool, going. yeah, yeah. So um, it's got VMAX coilovers, uh, Rota Shakaton wheels, and 15 by 8 plus zero offset. Uh, right now I'm rocking 195, 45, 15 tires, and um, after this season I'm gonna go to 195, 50, 15, some Kumo uh, high performance all season tires. Um, let's check out that. <laughs> And um, other than that, I just have a ISR exhaust with a cat delete. Uh, it's very loud. Um, and in the garage, I have a new OEM radiator that I've yet to install, as well as a quick release steering wheel. You said it's 15 by 8 or 15 by 9? These are 15 by 8 plus 0. Okay. Yep. So zero offset. It looks, it looks perfect with that offset. Oh, yeah. And then I've got, um, like I just got it aligned at RT. It has negative 3.9 degrees of camber in the rear and I believe negative 3.4 in the front. Okay. Yeah. I mean, did you, when, when you got the rush repair, did you got it painted or anything like that too? Um, so I didn't get the car painted, but they did um, repaint that whole area. The whole um, quarter the panel? Under, yeah, the whole quarter panel. And also on the, I believe was the driver's side, the rust like extended to the door sill, so they had to repaint that. Oh, wow. So. Yeah. That looks really good. Yeah, they did a great job. So is it on both sides? You did that on both sides? Yeah, they did the rust on both sides, okay. but it was only bad to the door sill on, I believe it was the drivers. Okay. Yeah. And then I also have the uh, the they Jazz didn't, Performance they didn't Mirrors. They did this side, did they? This side no, they, they, did, they did paint this side as well, but just, the, the just door, here. The door oh, lines. no, not the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they probably... I see little things here and there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get that PDR. You could have got it all at once done, you know? <laughs> I should have. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it looks good, man. Thank you. What, anything to interior? Um, so I have the IL Motorsports, uh, here, I don't know, unlock it for you and okay. show you. Yeah. So I've got the IL Motorsports center console with the, uh, oh, yeah. with the cup holders that are functional. You know, you're not gonna right. knock shit over when you're trying right, to shift. Right. So I can Everybody fit a, wants you know, one. yeah. They make the best uh, center console, in my opinion. You got the phone slot. Yep. And then you got the two um, cup holder. And then a very large opening in there. Yeah, thank you. And tell me about the mirror too. So these are from uh, Jazz Performance. Um, I think I ordered them from Project G. Yeah. Uh, last I checked, they're not actually on the website anymore, but yeah, they, didn't, they, they shipped like some from, uh, I forget where, but it was like Ukraine or something is where they shipped from. Yeah, Jazz is from the, the in Europe, yeah. So yeah, so how's the uh, visibility on that? Because I know 
some some of these mirror. Yeah. You can't, you, really you can't you can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> you really can't see anything. I yeah, I'm like yeah, I'll just like move my head around. I also have a Broadway mirror like on okay, the gotcha. mirror, so like it, I, yeah, so there's like a lot larger yeah. visibility out the back. Yeah. But my rear window is all like I feel like the stock up. mirrors are really good already. They I mean, are, and I, I I never change it because I I thought I, my opinion I think they just they work better and they look good too. Yeah. Until, until somebody moves it accidentally and you get in your car and you're like Where? yep yep my my one was yeah. broken so like in the rain like when it would okay, rain heavier sense. on the highway it would just like flop okay, down and like yeah. i can't see anything so yeah, i was like i have to get new well, ones right? yeah well, here's the yeah. thing i fixed that mine was originally broken mm -hmm. but you just go to the hardware store get that long bolt yeah and just kind of clamp it together and, and that'll work, work. Yeah. yeah well they, i'll, they I'll probably like do that swivel, if i want to switch yeah all right anything else that you want to talk about your car um, engine, what about engine mods? Yeah. So engine mods, um, so it does the stock 1.8 yeah. and uh, I haven't actually done any engine mods yet. Okay. But um, so once I do the interior, so I want to get uh, seats, uh, I have that quick release like I mentioned, and a harness bar, yep. um, and a roll bar, then I want to do uh, a turbo. So that's like, nice. yep, those are my plans for it. Yeah. I love turbo build, man. That's yeah. the way to go in my opinion. I, I just think... Is it yours turbo? Getting it. Getting it? Nice. I, my opinion, I just think BP is a great engine. I, I know that people do all kinds of swap and everything, yeah. but yeah. I'm telling you, man, they can, if you do it right, the BP could handle some power. Exactly. Right? That's what I want to do. That's, exactly that's my why solution I why I like the BP. Right. That's why I turbo BP. Yeah. Right. All right. Good. My name's Michael De Silva. Instagram is Mike.DeSilva. And uh, tell me more about your car. Oh, uh, well, it's a 1990 Mazda Miata. It's a 1.6 liter. It's got uh, 115,000 miles. Uh, How long did you have the, the car? I just bought it probably three or four months ago, actually. Okay. How, how much you pay, if you don't mind me asking? I paid 7,000 for it. Okay. 7,000 bucks. Uh, looks really clean. How many, how much miles? Miles? How many miles on this? It's got 115,000 miles. Okay, it's pretty fairly low. Yeah, fairly low. But the, was it been painted before or what? Yeah, they used, it was originally Mariner Blue, yeah. and the previous owner repainted it. It's a slightly lighter version. Yeah. The, he said it's closer to Grabber Blue, the Ford color. Okay. Looks really good. I like the racing stripe. Thank you. And the wheels fit the car nicely. Yeah, they're just XFRs. Yeah, that's fine. So you got LED. And GTR over there. Yeah. Yeah. So you got uh, LED headlights. Yep, what, LED what headlights, else, uh, LED what turn do? signals, uh, coilovers, any sway bars, front and rear. Okay. And other than that, it's pretty stock. Okay. But it looks clean. That I mean, that's a, that's the way to do it. Just keep it mm -hmm. clean. Exactly. That's what I wanted stocks. to do with it. And uh, what what year is this again? 1990. Okay. So you got that the short nose. Is it the original engine? Yes. Wow. Okay. Okay. You, Painted the center console. Yeah, center console, center console was painted. Yep, it looks good. It matched the car. It matched the. Yeah, paint, so. it was a uh, paint matched when when right. they did and the it's exterior. Done, it's done well. It's not like a, a, a bad yeah, job. Yeah, it's not like tack, tacky right. spray painted. And it's like car paint, so you can see all the gloss. Mm -hmm. Exactly, it's it got the perfect. clear coat over it. Yep, and the interior is nice. It's very clean, actually, very clean. Yeah. So with the hard tub, you paid for? It? Yeah, with yeah, the hard tub. because it's the same color. Yeah. Wow. That's a pretty good deal, man. It is pretty good, yeah. I think. And considering the price of Miata is going up lately, this is a very good deal. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Miata's been going crazy. Right. So, yeah, very clean one, so. All right. Anything else uh, you want to talk about this one? Anything else you got? Um, I think that's just about it. All yeah, right. It's pretty stock other than what you can see. Okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thank you. What makes it fun. This is the real Miata dad right here. Oh Jesus! <laughs> no. So he went out the Miata game. Now he's a BMW dad. Uh, yeah, still in I the mean, game. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Look at that little guy. He's sleeping. I don't want to bother him. No, he's alright. <laughs> Yeah, we were here for the night of that with the DJ and everything. He slept in all the time. So oh, here. really? Yeah. Wait, do you work at 1014 now? Or? Yeah, I've been working here for four years. Wow. Because you used to work at Fast Speed. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, cool. So, yeah, so that's four years in yeah. June. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's good.
out of here. Montega blue. That's my original color. Yeah. Chris white. And D. Oh, Merlot. This is a nice color. It's a Merlot M edition. Usually the Merlot or tan interior. Or the M edition, tan interior. Very nice. Ooh, I like the steering wheel. It's an M edition? Yeah, all the Merlot is an M edition. It's an M edition. Yeah, because at least I was looking at the seat still. Yeah, very That's nice. It's a nice wheel. It is. All right, how's it going? My name's Steven Wynn. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at steven.win. I just picked up this 97 Miata, and so far, it's been a nice car. Drives good, handles well. Uh, paint needs a little bit of work, but overall, Montego Blue, you can't beat the color. When the lights hits it, you can see some green in there, and in the shade, it's more of a blue color, but so far, it's been a great car. So how long ago since you uh, picked this up? Uh, three days. Three days? Three days, yeah. Wow. And uh, what, what year is this again? 97. 97, so you're NA8. NA8. Um, so how many miles on this one? It's got 133, I just hit it today. Okay. It had 132 when I bought it. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, how much you paid for it? Uh, five grand. Okay, very clean. Yeah, Yeah. It's not bad. I mean, bad. you know, a little that's here and there, paint perfection, but they're all stock, right? Yeah, all stock. And that's the... That's something that I want, which is a stock and uh -huh. because it's harder and harder to find stock in there. Yeah. It's Obviously, I got plans for it. I'll probably do some style of like track build. I want to get yeah. roll bar, wheels, tires, coilovers, and eventually I want to do a turbo build for it. So. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. It's it's gonna be a great investment because oh, like yeah. the price of NA are going up. So. Uh huh. So I think you know, you'll. Uh, really appreciate it, love it. Yeah, it's also rust free, which that was a big nice. bonus for me. So, oh, so you don't even have the rocker rust? Nope, huh? no rocker rust whatsoever. Well, you got a gem, man. I know that yeah. was the that was the big selling point. I wanted to find one with a little bit lower miles, yeah, and a little better paint, right? But the fact that it had no rust was just a huge selling point for me. Yep. Yep. Top's good, no leaks. Was this originally a PA car? Oh, uh, yeah, wow, so it's probably much uh, garage, it kept. was garage kept, yeah. That's great, man. Let's I know. See, see under the suspension. Yeah, just it just yeah, it looks good. It's just like surface surface rust. rust yeah. yeah. Wow, I recommend you doing this since you just got it. Clean the um, the vents right here. Uh -huh. I mean the vents, the drain hole. Okay. Um, clean up like you can see it right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, another thing you could do is to uh, like this. Uh, I learned this from a uh, like a car collector. Uh huh. He actually pour a little oil through where the drain hole is uh, so it won't uh, okay so it makes a little coating for uh -huh. the uh rust i mean so it won't uh, get right, any rust in right. the area huh I'll that's something that i learned from sure. a car collector like yeah know. yeah but i never did it but that's what i heard so i have to look it up try it out maybe yeah. uh very very nice very clean thank all you right. i appreciate it thank you all right my name is chad chmahoski my instagram is at flush g chef uh this is my 95 miata um, it's my drift car. It's really nothing special. It's a completely stock engine. It's just lowered on BCs with a welded diff, a hydro, some cool bits, I guess you could say. But other than that, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, at night, it looks completely different. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, well, you got definitely you got <coughs> some nice wheel and you got wheel with brakes, you got a vented hood. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, I mean, I got, you know, and you're, pride and seats. And you're a drifter, so yep. you're getting the e-brakes. <clears throat> yeah, uh, my team is on the back window, Car Shop okay. Karoshi. Um, Very nice. Me and three others get okay. down at certain events. <clears throat> and where do you drift at? E-Town? Uh, I've been to E-Town before. I mainly drift at uh, Ready, Set, Drift at Pocono. Okay. Um, I've been out to Lake Erie, uh, down to West Virginia, pretty much northeast sector. Let's say the tail, you got the, uh, ooh, did you rotate that to make it look like that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, that's unique, uh, see? Garage very rear right. end. Um, very cool. I guess the heart, a oh, lot yeah. of people like. <clears throat> it's a Miata, right? Of course. 
And this is this the KBD kit? Uh, no, no. This is this kit. I don't even, honestly don't even know how it really came to be. It, I bought this car with the kit on it, okay. but it's been exploded about three times, and oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the time to get another one. Right. Um, so you and know, you it's have... it's a it's a PS Deuce replica kit. It's not okay. real. Okay. And you have the uh, over fender. I, I believe. I can't remember the name of. The yeah, thing. those the are N the. the uh, so. Shit, fat something or another, I forget. I have them for the front too, but right. I just I like them just on the rear. Okay. How, how, what's your wheel spec? What's the width of that? Um, they're eight, in, eight inches front and rear. Okay. Um, 16, 16 by eight, those are minus three, wow. and those are zero. Okay. <clears throat> Very nice. A little bit of damage on the way up here, but that's all right. Really? That's wrong up here? Yeah, I rubbed oh. a little bit coming up. I just need to trim my fenders a little bit more, but whatever. Okay. So. And those are those are the Jazz, right? The Jazz front? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But those are, um, is this the newer one? They made a different version of it. Uh, th I got these last December, so I would assume okay. this is probably the newest one, I don't, unless okay. they made a new one since then. Okay. So I think they made two or three versions of that. They're very nice, man. Yeah. She's a little bit beat. This winter she'll get a refresh, but okay, cool. You know, it'll it'll look better next year. There's gonna be more color, uh, probably more wheels because I can't stop buying wheels, <laughs> and probably a turbo. Tires, underwear, so. right, definitely tires. Oh yeah, yeah. I just stacked a lot of tires, tires sitting in my house. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, very cool, man. <clears throat> Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. I like the zebra skin. The APC wheel is pretty rad. That's. Uh, New looks, old stock. It, it did it looks light really up. Good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, uh, I was about to ask you, did it light up? Yeah, it used to, but I ripped the wires out at the okay. first drift event when I hucked it. So I have okay. to. But you can still rewire, right? Yeah, yeah. I need to rewire it, but wow. it does light up when it's fixed. So what is it? Plastic? Yeah. What is that yeah, like? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it... I got it like a new old stock yeah. from France or something. I forget the dude I got it from, but. That's unique. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. Like I said, this car at night, it's a light show. Ooh, uh, wait, can I open the door? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So here, let me check out the uh, rainbow carpet. That's very nice. I've never seen that before. <laughs> uh, yeah, those are status air off. floor mats. The, um, the graphic. I, that's all paint. Oh, it, everything wow. is paint. I laid wow. it down with tape. Uh, wow. Like there's little ghosted bunny heads in here. Yeah. Like I said, it doesn't really look good in the shade, but it's too hot yeah, to park in the sun. Just, but I like it. I, did, I didn't really notice that but until you mentioned it. Yeah, it's uh, a pain in the ass. I don't know if I'd ever do it again, but, you know, I like it. So what, what kind of, like, that's, um, like, hand-painted, right? Yeah, and I mean, this is all rattle kit. Yeah. yeah. Rattle kit? Yeah, that's all spray paint. <coughs> wow. Lots and lots of layers, but yeah, it's all spray paint. Wow, wow, that's cool. That's unique. Our team colors are, we have all white cars with, like, two-tone, and yeah. I, I saw this specific color roof on the internet and I was like, I want that. So okay. next cool. time I might do like blue and purple up there if I decide to do it again, but. Yeah, very cool, man. Thanks, man, I appreciate yeah, thank it. You. Please subscribe to Hyper Speed Media YouTube. チャンネル。